how much is a police pension? All right, this is not an entirely straightforward answer, but it's not too complicated. Um, the police pension scheme has got a bit worse from the perspective of a police officer um, over the last couple of decades. Back when I joined, and um, let me just say straight up, this is one of the things that is less good about the fact that I left the police. Uh, is that back when I joined, it was in the uh, police pension scheme 1987. That was the last time it had been reformed. Um, and that was an amazing pension. Um, you got one sixtieth of your final salary for every year that you did up to 20 years and then two sixtieths uh, for the final 10 years up to a, a maximum of 30. Uh, which, if you're any good at maths, you will have already figured out that that means you could get 40 sixtieths by the time you retired. Or uh, two thirds, if you prefer more simple... Um, what do you call those things? Fractions. Um, that is an enormous pension. Um, and what made it even better from the uh, point of view of an officer and the reason why I keep saying that is because there's a, a perspective from which it's very much not a good thing and that is the perspective of uh, the public purse. But what made it better from an officer's point of view is that it was final salary which meant if you wanted to you could try and get promoted as quickly as you could in the last handful of uh, years of your career and that would have a disproportionately huge impact on how much of a pension you would get. And you may think that that sounds like a bit of an unwieldy thing to try and do to actually get promoted um, just to earn a bit more pension, but I know a couple of people personally who did that quite successfully. Um, one guy in particular who got promoted from a detective constable to a police inspector uh, within about the last four years of his career. It was quite a meteoric rise at a time when it was very difficult for sergeants to move up to inspectors just because there was a, a bit of a bottleneck, but he managed it. Um, and in so doing, oh, what would he have achieved? Probably about another 12 to 15,000 pounds a year. So probably about another 10 grand of pension uh, for the rest of his life. Um, which, you know, bearing in mind, he joined quite early, so I think he retired in his early 50s. You know, potentially that's like, if you live to 90 odd, that's £400,000 um, extra cash uh, before tax. Uh, so very, very much worth doing. Um, oh, uh, the other thing that's perhaps worth mentioning, although increasingly not worth mentioning as time goes by and fewer and fewer, fewer people are on this scheme, <clears throat> but you could take what they call a commutation, which means you could give up the two-thirds pay in exchange for half final salary, uh, but take a lump sum uh, at, the, at the time that you leave the police, which would have been worth... Uh, tens of thousands for someone who put in the 30 years and um, perhaps more into the sort of hundred plus thousand for for someone who'd done all 30. Um, however that was replaced in 2006 with the new police pension scheme um, which I suppose if I think about it in the back of my mind probably had a little something to do with why I left because I actually transferred forces after that scheme had come into effect and I don't think I knew this at the time but I was made aware post-transfer um, that transferring officers had to move on to the new scheme uh, which was significantly less good. I mean <clears throat> in terms of the reasons why I left the police that was a minor one I'm not sure if it was really in my head at all but it, it perhaps um, was a, a lack of a positive reason to stay. Anyway the new scheme um, uh, the calculation is that you get 1 70th for every year that you work uh, up to a maximum of 35 uh, and there is no increase in how rapidly you accumulate that in the last 10, 20 years or whatever. It's just a flat rate throughout. <clears throat> so that means clearly that the best you can achieve here is uh, half of your final salary, uh, so a significant decrease from two thirds, um, and you have to earn it over more years as well. However, <clears throat> there is a bigger thing to add here, which is that according to uh, the .gov.uk website, which I'm just reading at the moment, it's the 1st of February 2021 in case you're interested, 
um, the police are currently going through a uh, period of uh, phasing out final salary pensions completely. Uh, so that means they're going to look at the earnings you've had due to the um, rank you're at throughout your whole career and calculate a sensible average over that time uh, on which your pension will be based. So <clears throat> that means they're getting rid of the fun kind of uh, pension chasing aspect of the last few years of your career but for those who don't make it into the higher echelons that is obviously beneficial because you will actually get a, a relatively good rate. Is that right? Hmm. Not really. Well it depends if they've calculated it in such a way that um, if they'd have kept final salary mm -mm -mm. sorry i'm uh over complicating this and it's going to be difficult to explain it i think in short uh, that's probably not a good thing actually it just means the people who would have had a low pension in the past are going to get the same low pension and it just means that people who were chasing the money on the old scheme are no longer going to get the benefit of doing so